It was a half-hour's performance in a half-empty arena for Celtic as they knocked Livingston out the cup. Davey Martin, they will not have to worry about fighting on two fronts, but Brendan Rodgers will. Yes, Celtic continue their fight for their last two remaining trophies that they can possibly win, but it wasn't easy today and it wasn't convincing today. They may have scored four goals, but they conceded two, probably should have conceded more than two, and we've got to debate here whether all four of Celtic goals should have counted. Especially the Ford Maida one, I think very close to offside. The lines said otherwise, but who knows, maybe the officials were snorting lines. Because I don't agree with the, the Ford goal. For me, he, he looks offside and the lines that were drawn showed that he was like on by two feet. So I think they need to redraw those lines. I think they need to as well. I mean, let's not get it twisted. Maida's second goal was perfectly fine. Apart from the fact that it was some of the worst defending you've ever seen, it was fine. Livingston's both goals, again, I think they could have done with lines being drawn, but it's almost like in football there's no such thing as level anymore. There ain't, and I think showing us the lines five minutes after you've came to your decision is not good enough. A lot of these goals today were pretty much no, touch apart, and go. Apart from the second Maida goal, every goal went to VAR with yeah, lines. Yeah, for, for possible offside. And the problem is, they don't give you the lines. They award the goal, and then maybe five minutes later, they show you these lines that just aren't true. They're showing you lines that show the player, like, a foot on side. See if it's that obvious that he's on side. You wouldn't take ages to fucking draw lines. Yeah, and some of the angles, right, both both goals for, well, some goals for both teams, where the player's head or his leg or his foot is actually over the line. Yeah, I've noticed I don't it, get that. I've noticed this the past couple of weeks, that the lines aren't accurate. Those are not getting accurate lines. Now, maybe, I'm not saying they're getting inaccurate decisions, but they're not getting accurate lines. And I think if you're going to draw the lines, you need to at least get them right. Yeah, and for all the, the doofuses in the background, we're clearly saying both teams that scored the goals. We're not just saying Celtic goals today. We're saying Celtic and Levy goals. So let's get that perfectly clear. But let's get talk into the game, because Celtic, just their usual self, they're not convincing. I'm not going to pretend that Celtic probably didn't deserve to win because they could have scored a lot more. But yeah, they the back, could have, but they're the Celtic back, at home. Of course they're going to create more chances. They're going to have more possession. No, it is kind of funny, though, when you hear the commentators. What do you call him? Michael Cregan or something? Oh, Celtic deserved that. They deserved to... What does he think Livingston are going to come and dominate possession and out, out chance Celtic with three to one or some shit like that? No, Livingston hit the bar pretty much immediately. Uh, but then Dyson Maida did get his first goal, which... Like we said, it was debatable if it was onside. You know what, fair play to Maida. He got a hat trick. It's probably going to be the only hat trick he scores in his career. The guy's not really known as a goal threat, but uh, fair play to him nonetheless. I think he's already got one for Celtic. Has he? I think so. Well, it might be the last one in his career. I'm not too sure, but I'll tell you what. See, Mackay's goal, brilliant for him. But what is Celtic's defending on about? They're so bad at the back. You look at Celtic, right, and I, I just don't see how they win every game to the end of the season. Forget the cup. Talk about the league. How are they going to win every no, game? No, let's not forget the Cup. It's a, it's a Scottish Cup quarter-final. Just because you want to talk about Rangers winning the league. Let's, let's talk about hey, the let's Cup. Let's talk about the Cup. I, I, I actually, if they perform like this, I mean, we've seen it against Hearts last week, Shanklin schooled them. If they get Hearts, for example. I mean, the defending is pretty poor, and they're making the worst team in the league, Livingston, look good going forward. You, you have to feel like if Celtic were playing against a better attacking side today, they would have been in trouble. Yeah, missing Carter Fickers, obviously, missing Cameron. Uh, if they were against Rangers today, or Hearts, or like Hibs, a team that are good going forward, then I, I think they could have conceded a hell of a lot more than two. Yeah, I think obviously Celtic were better in the first bit of the season. They were, even though I don't think they were still, I don't think they were great, they were still better. The way Celtic are playing, right, if, see if they were playing in Europe, they would, they would concede buckets of goals. Would you not agree? Yeah. And, uh, I mean, against Levy, you're give, I mean, you've conceded two, right? And you could have easily conceded a few more. Levy hit the bar, as I said. Um, they had a great... Well, I said a great save for Joe Hart. It was a good save. No, second half, they could have scored a couple more as well. They had a few chances. Yeah, um, but going into the break 2-1, Celtic fans are probably thinking, right, we'll come out, we'll lay the smack down, we'll win about 4-5-1. But, but let's, give, let's give Levy credit. Twice they were behind, twice they came back. N nobody expected them to do that. Me, no, definitely not me. No, we I, all said I, this was going to be game. I, I predicted two one, and you know it, it was a close game. Four two doesn't really resemble what happened, but at the end of the day, it's not good enough for Celtic. I've seen a lot of Celtic fans post under their full time report uh, that Brendan's got to go. If you told me Celtic were going to score four goals today, I, I could have easily believed that. If you told me Liverpool scoring two, I was like, no chance. Aye. 
And that is the problem, though. It's, it's just they're so... They can score how much they want, Celtic, but you just you just don't see Celtic keeping clean sheets. It's even against Dundee, the defend. Like, yeah, they won seven one, but the defending was a was a was appalling. Like there was, and that was another questionable offside goal, by the way. That uh, Dundee was it on or was it off? But Celtic just don't look like they're going to go through a game without conceding. When was the last game Celtic kept a clean sheet? No idea. Can't remember. Could beat beat Motherwell three one. Beat Dundee seven one. Also could beat against Hearts. The day's 4-2. I actually can't... I mean, obviously, the game's against Aberdeen and Hibs. Hibs. Yeah, it's been a while, I think. It's been a while. North County won now. Yeah, that's, that's probably it. And that's back in, what, January in here? You don't... See, just because you can see goals, right, doesn't automatically mean you're awful. But for Rangers and Celtic, I think what you've got to do is not concede goals because it means if you have an off day up front, which Celtic have had quite a lot, um, you can just capitalise on just winning one nil or two nil. But uh, like the defending for both teams today, we can slabber about Celtic all we want. But that second goal defending for Livingston, just clear the ball. I don't know what they're doing. They're playing a bit way on the box, man. Um, Dyson Maida though gets his hat trick. May as well talk about it. Great goals for Levy, by the way. Both goals were great. Maida, I mean, on first glance, this is offside. They show the replay. They show the still image. You're honestly wondering how they've got a line here to work out Maida is onside. Like, the first Maida one, his head is over the line when they show the lines, and in this one, his foot is over the line. So if it's over the line, then how the hell is the line not being drawn to his foot? Don't get it. Um, then Kyogo does make it 4-2 eventually, guys. Uh, flick over the top for James Forrest. This looked offside, but it was on. Um, Kelly was playing him onside. And yeah, Celtic win 4-2. Would I say 4-2 flat or Celtic? Yeah, I think the fair result probably would have been about 3-2. But again, Livingston probably could have forced extra time. They didn't. They are a bit unlucky in the end because they did hold out pretty well. But yeah, I just, I look at Celtic, no matter who they get, right, in the Scottish Cup, let's, be, let's just say Hearts beat Morton. I, I, just, would, I would fancy Hearts' chances of doing Celtic in the semis. Yeah. I would take Celtic in the semis right now. Well, there you go. I neutral ground... I just, they're going to concede. And I think when you've got someone like Shankland up top and you know the team you're playing against is awful at the back, it's it's good confidence to have. Also, I don't think Ida should be starting in front of Kyogo. I, I just don't see anything in Ida. And it's Brendan Rodgers' fault. He's not getting the best out of Kyogo. But yeah, I just don't really see why Kyogo is on the bench. I know he's not been performing well, but he's still the best striker Celtic have. But yeah, and there's some people that think that this doesn't paper over the cracks. See it two each. Did you see Brendan Rodgers' face? He was shitting himself, and rightfully so, because at two each, Livingston looked a threat. There was a trail of shite dripping down his trousers. Okay, it's all, it's all about getting to the next round, but it wasn't a great performance today. It's not convincing. Like that late, late goal flat, or like three two makes it look. And, and you know, Livy. Even at 3-2, Livy did get a ball into the box. Bruce Anderson almost got on the end of it. I mean, we, we could have been looking at a situation today where Livy held out, maybe forced extra time in penalties, and maybe sneaked through in penalties. And if that did happen, it could have been all over for Brendan Rodgers. Yeah, and the problem is, so right, you can accept these sort of performances away from home. I think if you're, if you're away, you just get the job done, fair enough. But see, at home, Celtic have been awful at home this season. And there's not one point in this game where it was wrapped up. Now, obviously, right, when Kyogo scores with the last kick of the game to make it 4-2, it's done. But Celtic should Celtic should have this game against Levy wrapped up inside the first half. And they didn't, because Livingston kept fighting back. Uh, fair play to David Martindale, but sadly, his fairy tale is over. But what about his fairy tale in the league? We'll be back next week, and also midweek this week, because there's a few games as well. Can David Martindale turn it around? Hopefully. But can Brendan Rodgers turn it around, more importantly? I'm not too convinced. Till next time. Peace.